All right, we got a little bit more to go. Not a ton, but we've been given a graph that we have to figure out, right? So in this case, let's find the slope of the line. To find a slope, I need two points. So there's a point. I think we're good with that, all right? The slope of this line, here's my next point up here, all right? So it looks if I go up two, four, six, and over four, all right? Is that right? Are these by one? Two, four? I'll make sure we're in the right spot. All right, that looks about right. Touches there and there. I go up from zero to two, four, six. So we'll say six over two, four, four, which in this case gives me a slope of three halves. Here's hoping that's right. It's got a y-intercept right there that looks to be in the middle of 2 and 4, so we'll say the y-intercept is 3. Um, the boundary line is y equals 3 halves x plus 3 is what I'm getting. The boundary line on the graph is dashed. And the region above right, is shaded. So we're going to use the greater than symbol. So the inequality is y is greater than because not greater than or equal to because it's a dashed line. 3 halves x plus 3. Well, that's kind of easy, right? Let's see if we can figure this guy out. This guy's a little bit weirder. If I, they're saying, hey, how are we gonna, what sign are we going to put in the middle of y and 2x? So this gives me negative 6. All right, if I, it says 2x. If I double this, that's negative 6. If I double this, that's negative 4. If I double that, that's negative 2. If I double that, that's 0. That's right on it. If I double this, it's 2. Double this, it's 4. Right on it. Double this, it's 6. It looks like the y's are either equal to or less than all the way down, right, as I double the 2x. So we're going to say y is less than or equal to just by judging by what numbers came out. We got a problem here that's kind of important. All right. Uh, Ramana has $18 that she can spend on food. Dry food is five fifty a bag, and wet food is two dollars per can. Right on. So I'm going to say five fifty a bag plus two dollars a can is less than or equal to eighteen. All right. Right on. Describe how many bags and cans of dog food that she can buy. Well, this is right, but let's go ahead and solve for y. If I subtract 5.5, subtract 5.5, I get 2y is less than or equal to, that should be 5.5x, I'm sorry. So negative 5.5x um, plus 18. And we divide by 2 and divide by 2. All right. We get 2y, or just y, sorry, is less than or equal to, well, it looks like we got half of 5.5. I'll just leave it like that. I'll say negative 5.5 over 2. X plus 18 divided by 2 is 9. And we're done. Kind of easy? A couple more questions and we're finished. It says decide whether a real life situation can be represented by a linear inequality. Well, there sure is a real life situation, right? So... What, let's say Mr. B is purchasing clothes, right? And I could write one if I wanted to. I could say, you know, shoes are $20. Um, socks are $7, and I have $50 to spend, well, $40 to spend. I could say, hey, the number of shoes I buy, 20x, plus the number of socks I buy, 7y, is less than or equal to 40. That's good. I can tell which side of the boundary line to be shaded. Well, if it's this or this, shade down, right? If it's less than or less than or equal to. If it's greater than or greater than or equal to, we shade up. How do you graph a linear quality in two variables? Well, draw the boundary line. Done. There's one step. 
if, and we'll do step two, this one or this one, dashed line, this one or this one, solid line. So draw the type of line in, all right, three, if, this, or this, all right, all right, less than or equal to or less than, shade down. If, make that an F2, greater than or greater than or equal to, shade up. That's it. See you guys soon.